The following is a presentation of TFNN. It is now time for The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, all you wonderful money masters and treasure hunters. Welcome to the September 20th, fantastic Friday edition of today's opening bell on The Trader's Edge. I'm your host, Steve Rhodes, and I absolutely treasure your presence here today. My outcome, as always, is to help you to become a better money master and to provide you with the tools that each of us need in order to lead an inspired life. Because leading an inspired life, folks, that's what it's all about. So let's go look at one of our tools. You've heard this tool before. I love this tool. This is the tool I call Your Hidden Treasure. Now, W.G. Montgomery wrote about two brothers who landed in New York in 1845. The older brother, he had learned the trade of making sauerkraut while living back in Germany. And hearing of the possible fortunes to be made in America, he set out to California, where land was cheap. His goal was to grow cabbage, make the cabbage into sauerkraut, and begin a business. His venture was successful, very successful. Eventually he brought or he bought additional land, planted more cabbage, made more money, and he was content with life. Now, the younger brother, he remained in New York where he worked during the day and attended school at night. The younger brother, he took a course in geology and learned all about rocks and soil. A few years had passed, and one day he set out to California by stagecoach to visit his older brother. And upon his arrival, the older brother took him into the cabbage patch to show him what good crops he was growing. The younger brother began picking up handfuls of soil, pressing it through his fingers, throwing it down, and picking up more. This is mighty fine soil you have here, brother. They walked down to a nearby stream so the younger lad could wash his hands, and while washing his hands... The younger brother reached down and picked up a handful of quartz from the bottom of the stream and pointed to a dull yellow piece. Do you know what this is? he asked his brother. The cabbage king shook his head. No. What is it? That's gold, said the younger brother with excitement. You've been growing your cabbage on a gold mine. True story, folks. One of the richest gold mines in California was found in a cabbage patch. Now, our mind can be just as rich in unseen resources as the cabbage patch was rich in the unseen gold. I say, open yourself up to new ideas. Progress and growth. Progress and growth are impossible if you always do the things the way you've done them in the past. You want to talk about progress, folks? How about next Friday? Next Friday, September 27th, because we'll be picking up all sorts of gold nuggets when I teach my uh, Master Trader course, The Ultimate Money Machine. In fact, I received a number of emails yesterday, so I want to go ahead and I'm going to cover... I want to cover the trade that I was in. I showed you live. You know, we talked about the trade. Now, I was already in that trade. So I'm going to actually, let me just switch over. It'll give you kind of an idea. And I, yeah, it'll give you kind of an idea of what it is that we'll be covering uh, during that course. It was a live trade yesterday. Gave you the parameters that I was taking a look at. So let me just first go ahead and I'll punch that up on the, uh, well, let me see if I can punch that up on the screen here. Let me do this. There we go. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start back to yesterday morning. So I sent out my newsletter uh, by, try to get it out by 8 o'clock each morning. Today it was out by 7.45 as an example. Now this is the front page of the newsletter. I'll go ahead and read it for you, especially for those that are listening on your mobile device or your radio at tfnn.mobi. For everybody in the Dan or on Tiger TV, you know you can see this here. But in the upper right-hand corner, I've always identified what the long-term, intermediate-term, and short-term position is, a uh, posture, I should say, really of the S&P 500, and that helps because you should have different buckets of money that you're really managing out there. So you can see we're in long-term bullish, intermediate-term bullish, short-term bullish. Tell you how many net declining issues, in this case, it would be needed in order for the uh, bears to take control of the uh, market. Yesterday it was 45.60. Today it's something like, uh, I don't know, 33.95, something along those lines. Now, I put down there in the short term the market should retrace as they work off the overbought condition. Remember, this is yesterday's newsletter, and we want to take long positions within the sectors that pull back on light volume. I'll send out an update by 3.30 with the best options, which I did send out an update. We're not going to talk about that. Then I go into the current message of the markets. All of the index ETFs and indexes confirmed A, B equals CD up patterns yesterday with volume and wide price spread. Yesterday afternoon's move also created an overbought condition that needs to be worked off before the next leg up should begin. 
Our best course of action is to wait for this overbought condition to be worked off before taking long positions in the market, including the gold stocks that I pointed out in yesterday afternoon's update. When I sent out an update, I included all the stocks that looked pretty darn good for the picking out there. The question is, when are you going to go ahead and pick them? The New York Stock Exchange McClellan Oscillating closed out the day at a reading of plus 269, which was the highest level since the 302 reading that occurred on July 3rd, 2012. July 3rd? Marked a short-term high, and the market pulled back for a week, then moved higher for a week, then pulled back for one more week before making its final low on July 24th. And on July 26th, the New York Stock Exchange formed an RSI 3 buy pattern. Markets, folks, they do not end on high Osler readings, which is simply just confirming the A to B equals CD up patterns that are now present in the markets. Then I went on to say, and it's a little bit bolder and highlighted in this morning's uh, look, in the shorter term, the 30-minute ES is showing another price route of strength indicator divergence pattern, which suggests a pullback to either the 0.382 or 0.618 retracement levels, 1714 or 1706. Yesterday, when we were taking a look at that trade. I told you 1714. I told you my exit strategy was at 1714. Now, for trading the ES mini, for those of you that don't, it's uh, you know it's traded over the Globex. You've got 23 and a half hours a day, five in. You know, I mean, it starts really trading Sunday evening, but you got five days a week using the symbol ES. So that's what you see on my screen. Each point is worth uh, fifty dollars per contract, and each tick it uh, travels in four ticks. So each tick, a quarter point, is worth twelve fifty. And uh, for overnight, if you're going to hold. A, uh, hold one contract overnight. Need forty three hundred and seventy five dollars in your account. So I'm gonna, you know, I always take uh, things in chunks and use them in t chunks of ten thousand dollars. So if you had a ten thousand dollar account balance, you really could have three contracts out there that would be open. But I say we just use the conservative approach and we just simply use two contracts for trading. So. Here's the trade setup uh, that I've got in here. And the question is that you've got to answer, and this was great because I had some great conversations with some uh, uh, ex uh, uh, uh folks that had attended some of the workshops that I'd done in the uh, past out there, and it was all really great to, to do some refresher work uh, for them. Because the key is always... Even though you've got a pattern set up, but it doesn't matter whether you trade this pattern or you trade anything else. Yesterday I talked about Bollinger Bands with one client. I talked about some other trading techniques with another uh, client as well. And it doesn't matter to me which technical indicators you use in patterns. Just make sure those patterns produce profits. This is one that I'm going to be teaching uh, next Friday. I know it produces profits. I trade it all the time. I live for this pattern. I wait for this pattern to set up. Now, most people were trying to jump on board maybe the train saying, boy, I need to get in now. Boy, I need to get in now. How would that newsletter yesterday morning have helped you out? Well, let me show you how it could have helped you out and how folks actually made money with it. The question is, how do you know when to take the trade uh, that uh, showed up here? Because the actual trade really began. I got my first uh, text message uh, to make me aware of this trade at 5.30 in the morning. 5.30 in the morning was not the time to enter the trade. Next Friday, I'm going to teach people exactly when to have entered that trade. Now. I can tell you that I got my signal to enter the trade. It was at 7 a.m. is when I actually entered the uh, trade out there. And at 1.30 p.m. yesterday afternoon, that's when the ES Mini hit that first price target of 17.14. Now, what you can also see up here, if you're watching us on Tiger TV, you can also see as that pattern was setting up, it was into the extreme overbought condition. But it was done on less relative strength out there. So I went short. I got my signal. You saw it. I put the screen up live on the uh, uh, during the uh, show. You could you could see the money ticking away as each tick was going up or down. Now I trade ten contracts at a time out there versus one contract at a time. But you got to do it based upon your you know money management strategy and your account balance and whatever it is that you're comfortable with. I always look for places to add to the uh, to the uh, trade if it's working or if my target is hit. I just simply like to go ahead. Now, the target was hit. I was out of the trade. I wasn't even near the computer system because I had got both the – I've bracketed both with the stop as well as the exit points out there. And that's the way to trade. It's very similar to, to trading like we do on Nadex, like we'll do from 10 to 11 o'clock this morning out here. The price target was hit, and you can also see as the price target was hit – price was moving down towards that oversold condition out there. So the trade results, pretty simple. If you had 
not been aware of the pattern and you just simply were utilizing the newsletter service, you would have got in on that trade if you wanted to. Now, you could have used this. You didn't have to trade the ES Mini. You could have traded the SPX, S, or L. I think S is for short. So you could have traded that one and just simply taken a uh, look at uh, being able to make a profit. In this case here, if you traded the ES Mini, you would have gotten in at either 1723 when the newsletter was out or 1725 if you had attended the course and you knew about the pattern out there. So your profit potential was either 9 or 11 points because in this case here the exit came at 1714 just as was identified in the newsletter just was identified when we talked about it yesterday on the air that took place at 130 so at $50 a point you're looking at a profit between 450 or $550 per contract out there two contracts on a ten thousand dollar balance, nine hundred to eleven hundred dollars, folks. I've got a workshop coming up next Friday. You can get into it right now for five hundred and ninety-five dollars. You can get in it less if you've got Tiger dollars. You can go buy Tiger dollars. Just the one trade alone, more than paid for it, more than doubled up for most folks out there. In fact, most folks are trading way more than ten thousand dollars in an account out there. How about you? How about you? Would you like to learn a system that I consider to be the ultimate money machine? You've got to be patient. You wait for those trades to set up. But if you go back and you take a look at the history, if you take a look at the expectancy, the profitability, it is a beautiful thing. In this case here, the actual reward to risk, 3.25 to 11. You knew that ahead of time. That's why I went ahead and took the trade. That's why coming out at 17.14, that seemed to make a, a good, profitable trade for me. So it's next Friday. It's September 27th. It costs five ninety five. dollars Look, if you can't be there, it's archived for a week. And just like other clients did yesterday that, you know, wanted to speak to me about some of their trading techniques and what wasn't working and how could I help them out, well, you've got access to that as well. So learn how to buy and sell the D-point. Learn the Gartley butterfly sell patterns, the silent signals in the market. And, folks the ultimate change in trend indicator. I hope to be able to see you there. Right now we've got uh, Dow Futures up three, S&P up point and a quarter. We'll be right back. Who says you can't take it with you? TFNN says you can. With your mobile device and TFNN's live radio streams, TFNN has put it all in the palm of your hands. No special apps to download. No subscription fees for live radio or Tiger TV streams. We say you can. Now let's go over to the dollar because the dollar is going to be the generator. It is the generator of basically higher dollar, lower market. And what the dollar has done, and this whole uptrend, folks, has just gone sideways. The way it works, folks, is this. We say you can. The Tiger Financial News Network. Smart investors and professional traders know you can. TFNN.com. Educating investors. With the launch of Tiger TV, TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesavento, Andy Hecht, Victor Jones, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. McEwen Mining is a high-growth, mid-tier producer in the Americas with a market capitalization of $1 billion. Experienced mining executive Rob McEwen, as chairman, CEO, and president, owns 25% of the outstanding shares of McEwen Mining and has put in place an ambitious business plan with the goal of qualifying for inclusion in the S&P 500 by 2015. With $70 million in cash and liquid assets as of the end of 2012 and completely debt-free, McEwen Mining 
mining is poised for growth. Production in 2013 is forecasted to grow at 24%, reaching 130,000 gold equivalences. And over the next three years, McEwen Mining projects that their production will increase to 290,000 gold equivalences, almost a three-fold increase from last year's totals. If you'd like to find out more about McEwen Mining, click on their banner on the front page of TFNN.com or check them out on the NYSE or TSX under the symbol M-U-X. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's trading newsletter. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you the edge you've been looking for. Try Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind absolutely free for two full weeks. That's an $85 value. Yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. And get the edge you've been looking for. Investors, Taz Market Research delivers to his subscribers expert commentary on the analysis of 15 different markets each day. Get this invaluable and timely information through the daily market research videos Taz Market Research produces each day before 9 a.m. The video analysis will include reports on currencies, interest rates, indices, metals, energies, grains, and more. You'll be able to gauge where high profitability setups are in each of the markets. Receive a free two-week trial subscription to Taz Market Research videos on the front page of TFNN.com. Steve takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Traditionally at 727 445 1044. back folks uh, biggest movers in the uh, market here this morning we got goldilocks back uh, 15 bucks down a little over a percent silver pulling back this morning off 61 cents that's down about two and a half percent light sweet crude off 59 cents uh natural gas is back a, a nickel we'll go take a look at uh, that i believe natural gas went ahead and hit that uh, target that first area of resistance that we were uh, taking a look at here uh, across the uh, pond right now over in europe you've got the uh, dax is trading off about 10 points footsie down uh, 10 as well. The Nikkei was off 23 points last night. The uh, Hang Seng was up uh, 385. I don't think that the uh, Shanghai has traded the last couple of uh, days out there. I think they are celebrating uh, the uh, harvest moon out there, if I'm not mistaken, with some moon pies out there. Our call in number is 877 927 6648. Uh, give me a call, folks. Feel free to call in and we can take a look at uh, your stock chart. So let's go start off by, uh, what about, let's go start off by taking a look at gold, see what we've got going on inside the uh, metals complex out here right now. We'll pull up the uh, daily uh, gold chart. Uh, Actually, I'm going to go ahead and well, let's 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 do this. I'm going to go ahead and uh, and delete a couple of things off here. Let's just kind of start from scratch. Why don't we just do that? So let me just remove this right now. You can see gold here pulling back. Uh, it's at uh, 1352. Uh, let me get rid of uh, that as well out here. We don't need that on the uh, screen right now. So as we take a look at uh, gold, we had that nice breakout session on September the 18th after Uncle Ben uh, came out on the, well, I really was after the uh, minutes were released at uh, 2 o'clock. Didn't take long for gold to uh, move from a low that day of 1291 up to 1367. So we had about a $75 uh, move. Yesterday, you had a, a flat trading session. You can see that little doji candle. Uh, you know, markets do not end on, the nice thing is markets do not end on wide price ranging bars like we had here today uh, the doji telling us that the uh, market was uh, tired yesterday lower close just telling us that we're in the fall time and that the uh, leaves are going to fall off of the uh, trees now you can use trend lines you can use channel lines in this case here I like the uh, channel lines. And channel lines, you're just simply looking at co-located opens and closes. In this case, we're going to start off with the uh, open from the June 28th session out there at 1199.50 uh, out there. And that's going to be what I'm going to use as my first area that I'm going to use for my price channel. Now, I'll come back and explain what I just did out there. We'll take a look at that. And we're just trying to identify the largest number of co-located opens and closes. Doesn't matter whether it's an open or a 
close. In this case here, it was the open from June 28th. I gave you that number. It's also going to be the open from August the 7th. That's at 1281.20. Also happens to be the open of August the 8th. That was at 1282. Happened to run right into the close of Wednesday on September 18th. That close, 1365 out there. So we've got one, two, three, four nice contact points. That will create our channel line out there. Now, across the top, we've got the uh, uh, open of June 21st. We've got the close of June 24th. We've got the open of June 25th. We've got the uh, clo- or the open of June 24th out there. We've got the close of August 27th. What do we have? One, two... Three, four, five touch points along the uh, upper portion of that region out there. Now, when price breaks through a price channel, what does it normally do? That's exactly right. Price tries to get back inside that rising price trend. And what we can see here with Goldilocks is Goldilocks has failed to do that. You can't bust them up. Well, maybe you're going to go try and bust them down. That would say that uh, Goldilocks could move down towards the lows out there, 1291. Now, what we can take a look at is just simple retracement level from the low of Uncle Ben Day all the way up to the high that was put in yesterday. And if we take a look at retracement levels, you'll see that at 1343, which is in essence where gold has traded down to thus far, that's your dead cat bounce. That's your point three eight two level. So where's gold likely to trade to? Excellent question. I would say somewhere between 1291 to 13. 23 out there somewhere between moving all the way back to the breakout session to all the way down to about the 0.618 retracement level what you'd really want to do is go down take a look at some intraday time frame charts such as a 30 minute chart out there and take a look for a pattern but what we can see here is that price is not broken back inside price has done what it's supposed to do i believe all it's going to do is just simply pull back recharge and try to take on that area of resistance right now and price gets back inside it what do you think is the likelihood that price will go ahead and make it up and stop at wherever the top of that rising price channel is and where would that likely be what would be the likelihood of what that price target would be well i don't know why don't we go from the swing point high to the swing point low that would be from august 28th high down to the low that was put in on wednesday and i see right there at the 1.272 expansion you're looking at about 1472 so in figuring out reward to risk out here of course price has to get back inside that rising price channel that looks like a pretty decent trade because your stop would be on the other side of 1291 so let's just hope that it's fantastic friday and on fantastic fridays gold likes to pull back a little bit so let's be in the camp of gold pulling back 877-927-6648. We'll be right back, folks. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's n a d e x.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. With the stock market flirting with all-time highs and volatility back, now is the perfect time for a two-week free trial to Market Insights. On Monday, June 24th, Tom O'Brien closed out all five open positions in his daily newsletter, Market Insights, with all trades being profitable and ranging from a 2.23% gain all the way to more than an 11% gain in just one position for an incredible 32.7% profit combined between the five trades. Let Tom O'Brien's years of market experience work for you. 
If you'd like to see for yourself what kind of trading newsletter Tom O'Brien delivers to his clients each morning, then now is a perfect time to sign up for a two-week free trial to his daily newsletter, Market Insights. In a volatile market like we currently have, the potential for fast market moves like we've seen recently is a trader's dream. So don't wait any longer. Sign up for your two-week free trial to Market Insights today at the front page of TFNN.com. Andy Hecht, the host of the Commodities Hour, recently launched his newsletter service, the Technomental Commodity Report, and only six weeks in, Andy has already recorded a triple-digit winner. Andy advised his subscribers to purchase a long-term call option at 46 cents on July 11th, and then sent out a special update Friday, August 16th, advising his subscribers to close that position at $1.40. That's a 204% profit in just five weeks. The Technomental Commodity Report by Andy Hecht is released each Thursday morning, and right now you can get a month-long free trial to this subscription while locking in the low introductory rate of only $39 a month. Andy Hecht has been a commodities trader for over three decades. Let his experience work for you. Sign up for your month-long free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report today at TFNN.com. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And we're off to the races. We got the Dow up 13 points. Train out at 15,648. S&P up two at 17,25. Composite up five at 37,95. Russell 2000 up two and a half points at 10,78. Apple up five bucks after the uh, release today of their 5C and their 5S, I believe, is the uh, names of the uh, phones out there. We got uh, Microsoft down 59 cents off nearly about 2%. This morning, Google's off 39 cents. Cisco up nine ticks. Intel up two. Leading the charge to the upside is Apple right behind them. Netflix is uh, trading. Up three dollars and sixty nine cents, trading out at three oh nine thirty ish. That's up a point. Shutterstock SSTK up six percent this morning. Uh, that's up three dollars and change. Fleet Maddox Group FLTX up two fifty eight. That's up seven percent. NPS Pharmaceuticals NPSP up seven percent this morning. Sarepta the Therapeutics they're up about three uh, percent. That's up a buck, trading out at thirty eight dollars. X one that is one of the three D software companies out there. Uh, they're up three percent this morning trading out at fifty six dollars even Stephen health so Health South Corp. They're up three and a half percent. HLS uh, Cyclical Pharmaceuticals. What is it? They must have been bought out by somebody. They're up thirty-five percent, or maybe they got. Maybe they are curing cancer. Let's see. What are they doing here? Uh, sickle cells. Uh, that's not coming up on my screen. Oh, there we go. Just a little bit of a. Oh, I don't like that delay. Oh man, I hate when it says you got to close the program, and that's my live data feed. Let's see if it actually closes or just closes the news feed there. Uh, in any event, so just testing. Love it when the universe just tests you. It looks like we're back up and running here. we got Regenerant Pharmaceuticals. Remember, that's the stock we took a look at yesterday that had broken out over a nice uh, consolidation level. We're looking for that to pull back a little bit further, uh, maybe give us a nice little uh, buy point in there. That's Regenerant Pharmaceuticals. you got Biogen BIIB. That's off a buck right now. That's down about half a percent. Darden Restaurants uh, struggling out there. They're off about uh, 3% uh, down a buck 63 uh, right now. Our call in number 
877-927-6648. Let's look at the king. I haven't looked at the uh, king uh, with you for quite some time. You know, we were taking a look at uh, rising price channels when we looked at the uh, gold contract. We are looking at the continuous contract that was up on my screen earlier. Now, as we take a look at the uh, king, we can see the nice little rising price channel that the U.S. dollar index has been. And, you know, Tom talks about how the U.S. dollar index not anywhere near its lows. In fact, you want proof. Here's the weekly chart. The weekly chart of the U.S. dollar index. You can see the low that was put in here. Nice little uh, bear bull sash candle. That was in May of 2011. Let me pull that back a little bit further. Make sure. Yeah, that was the real low that was put in. And we can see the rising price channel that has formed. Now, this week, Uncle Ben has decided to put the thud into the uh, U.S. dollar index, and it broke the rising price channel. Now, the question's going to be, is that a real breakdown? Because obviously price had been rising out there. Now, where did price pull back to? Well, price pulled back to the dead cat bounce, the point three eight two retracement from low. That was in May of 2011, all the way up to the high. That was recently put in back here in July of 2013, out at the price level of 83.62. So a logical place for price to stop is at that point three eight two retracement. In fact, I understand from one of our engineers that I'm going to be receiving an email from, uh, let's see here, who is it? It's from, I think it was John, John in uh, Boston, and his question was, how how was I so keen on predicting what the ES Mini was going to uh, do out there? So we'll go back to that message, and we'll t actually take a look at it here. Because really, here's part of that formula. If we just simply go from and measure from one swing point to the next, and we take a look at what those retracement levels are, it's why you want to make sure that you are aware of the .382, the .618, the .786 retracement levels, as well as you want to understand expansions, 1.272 and 1.618. But... That's just one piece of the equation. You also want to understand where are the bulls and the bears hanging out. That is the first order of business. When you begin any war, don't you want to know where the folks that you are battling up against, where they are, where that line is drawn in the sand? Folks, you absolutely got to you got to take a look at this stock chart here. This is the best, this is the easiest game that you could possibly want to learn how to play. In fact, you want to teach this game to your kids. We talk about jobless recoveries and the issue even as jobs do come back into the market, you're going to have tons of competition, so you would think that costs of labor would be kept down. How is it that our kids and then we're certainly at some point in time going to see some kind of inflation, right? We're going to see interest rates that have to rise. They have to rise over time. Maybe it's when Uncle Ben is gone. Who knows when it is? I'm not going to take a look at the timing. What I do know is that the best business in the world, the biggest opportunity business that exists, in my opinion, is the money business. It's the one business where you've got the least amount of information on how to play it. That is with the exception of some folks, like all of us here at TFNN. There's not a single one of us here, one of us contributors on TFNN. In fact, you've got folks in the den that are trying to help people make money all the time out there. What each of us want to be able to do is teach you the tools so that you can go out there and empower yourself so that you can go ahead and take all these trades that set up for your for your system, whatever that system might be. And the first thing is understanding the tactics. And then you need somebody to teach you the strategy because tacticians, I promise you, tacticians get slayed all of the time. You need to understand the strategies out there in order to be able to implement those uh, tactics. And that is how you become a successful trader. Now, that means you also need to understand where the bulls are hanging out on the weekly chart. That's really very simple out here because all we have to do is take a look at the candlesticks to understand that. And we take a look at price down here. The price that we're looking at is June 21st. You can see as price moved down into that rising price channel. Now, wh why these price channels work, that I can't tell you. I just know that they do. I know that you need to be able to draw them in on your screen. They're relatively easy to do that. I can tell you that horizontal support and resistance has got more meaning than diagonal. Nonetheless, you want to be paying attention to both of them. If we take a look at this rising price channel, as price was uh, broken here, that was a courtesy of Uncle Ben Bernanke out here, where price also came down to not just the point three eight two retracement, but also the last line of defense of the, or the most recent line of defense, I should say, of the bulls. And where was that? That was right here. You can see this candle as price was moving down into that rising price channel the week of June 14th. Who showed up? 
That's right, the cavalry. The cavalry of the bulls, and they formed a bullish engulfing candle. That says that support, the level of support, horizontal support, inside the U.S. dollar index, very easy to identify and detect, $80.50. It's trading right now at eighty fifty five. If we see a close below eighty fifty, that will tell us that there's a, a chink in that line of defense. And when you see chinks in line of defenses, of course, it depends just how far it pushes through there. Then you'll go down to the next area. And where's the next area? Where are the bulls? Where is the next area of defense in this game here that we play? Very simple. It's right down here at this bull sash. The last time that the price had moved down to the test the bottom of that rising price channel, that was on February 1st, the week of February 1st, 2013. And who rushed in right after that? The bulls did. So you need to understand because you want, when you're placing a trade, you must know. You must know where the bulls and bears are hanging out. That is an absolute must. I don't care whose trading system you use out there, what tactics you use, if you don't understand. Not all candles are equal. In fact, if you go take a look at the books that are out there, you can read the books. I've read all of those books out there. And those books are great about telling you about one thing and one thing only tactics and what those candles might mean but they don't teach you how to trade that's the thing that's what i'll be doing at the master trader series course and wherever it is you learn that you need to make sure that you learn that it is the most it is like uh, it would be it's, it's the language of the markets it is your abc's it's your one two threes you've got to understand that because that is how you read the message of the markets that's how you put it together and so john who's sending off the uh, email it was as simple as that maybe a little bit more complicated but i'll make it simple for everybody that does attend the uh, master trader course out there if we take a look at that, one of my favorite patterns uh one of my favorite patterns that's what's set up here like i say i got the signal right here at this candle at five thirty. That was not the time to take the trade. I'll teach you how to take the trade. And if all we do is go from the uh, area where we see the most recent swing point low, that came in at 1230, 1230 in the afternoon before the FOMC released their minutes. We saw price uh, make a low out there at 1693 and a quarter. Happened to be in the extreme oversold territory. How does that work? You don't think that maybe somebody trading on behalf of the Fed? knew what was going on, how did price move down into, if you didn't know anything about the Fed, how is it that price actually moved down into that area? And then, of course, formed a bullish engulfing candle on that very next trading session coming into the 1 o'clock time frame. Remember, the minutes weren't released until 2 p.m. out there. There's a couple other confirmations, actually. You know, you had to really make sure that you had a, a, a ton of uh, conviction behind the move. But let's just take a look at what the trading pattern showed and what actually the uh, results were. Well, then, of course, price moved into that oversold condition. But if you go from that low all the way, the low again, coming in at uh, 1230 in the afternoon, uh, down at a price level of 1693 three and a quarter all the way up to the high that was put in at 6 a.m. this is yesterday morning if you go from that low to that high you can see that the dead cap bounce a point three eight two retracement is seventeen thirteen ninety five look this moves in quarter ticks so you got to round that up or down it was pretty easy to round it up to seventeen fourteen the actual es mini made a, a tick low of seventeen thirteen twenty five out there well look this is not about selling the bottom this is not about buying the top if you do that you will drive yourself crazy in fact you don't want to put your stops and your exits right exactly on those lines because you're not the only one that would be utilizing these tools out there so 1714 that was a logical place to go ahead and uh, take the uh, trade off and you can see here as we take a look at the es mini you can take a look at how price got down into the uh, lower threshold of that uh, 14 period relative strength index out there uh, you know, it is Stevie Sun's favorite, the momentum indicator out there. It's one that's my favorite because I use it for trading and make money all the time. And so that's what you want to do. You want to find some system where you can make money all the time, where you've got the probability on your side, where you know what your expectancy is, and then you just simply fire away at the uh, trade. And look, the reality is I have no idea whether a trade is going to work or not. I just know that I need to take the trade because the pattern that I spent so much time identifying and going back and doing the work and having the history of, I know that I have to take those trades. 
Anyways, that's how you should trade out there. So that hopefully answers uh, John's questions and maybe any question that you might have out there as uh, well. So I've given you my full take on what I believe the market is doing because that was contained in yesterday's email. And if we take uh, an email, yesterday's newsletter, if we take a look at the uh, index, uh, let's go take a look at the actual indexes here. Let's just take a look at the S&P 500. Let's go ahead and pull that up on the screen. And here is what should be of concern. Maybe a little bit of concern. As price was moving up into that high on September 18th, on Wednesday, price was moving up into that extreme overbought condition. Last time that price was up here was during the time period of it actually hit that level on May 15th. Price pulled back just for a, a day, moved higher, then got into that more extreme uh, level. That was on the May 22nd area before we went ahead and made a low of June 24th. Do I expect that that's what the outcome is going to be this time? I don't expect that at the uh, moment. What I do know is this. You take a look at this wide-ranging bar out here on September 19th. You take a look at that McClellan oscillator, and I can tell you markets don't end. Those are actually oscillator readings that are initiations. Those are initiations of price wanting to move to higher ground out there. Now. What needs to happen is this oversold condition must, or overbought condition must be worked off, should be worked off. And boy, we've got a nice wide-ranging bar candle out here in order for that to happen. Because it'll take quite a thrust downward before this bar can possibly become bearish at all. So ideally, we'll see price move down either. Maybe it's into Basel's 9 period exponential moving average. Maybe it's Stevie's 8 period. It doesn't really matter. Maybe it's down to the bottom of that September 18th level at about the $1,700 area. We're just simply going to watch the bulls and the bears out here. Because ideally, you want to be able to buy a market, and you can just put this on a chart. You want to be able to buy when that relative strength is really more towards relative weakness, right? You want to buy weakness and sell strength. You want to be like Warren Buffett? Well, guess what? You can all day long. just depends on what time frame it is that you want to trade. And all you have to do is put the buy weakness, sell strength indicator up on your screen, and you can do that all day long. In any event, let's go take a look at some of these uh, markets around the world. Let's go see what we've got going on out here. Uh, if we take a look at the uh, at the uh, Shanghai, yeah, it hasn't traded. The Shanghai, I'm not really sure what to expect out here. What I would expect in the next buy pattern inside the uh, Shanghai, and we looked for ETFs. If somebody knows an ETF out there, if somebody knows an ETF that actually replicates the uh, Shanghai, would you please send me an email, steve at tfnn.com, or if you know about the one that actually, now we're not talking about the China 25, we're actually talking about ETF that truly does represent the Shanghai index. Please let me know, because uh, Z says it's the CAF. Well, thank you, Zster, in the uh, den, because the CAF is something that we want to uh, be able to take a look at in trade. So thank you very, very, very much out here, because we want to be paying attention. I like that, a 97% correlation. you the man. And he's the man. Now, you can be the man or the woman, too, because what you want to do is you want to take a look at a trade. If we can get this Shanghai index down to the bottom of this rising price channel and we can see some bulls step in, it sets up for a pretty darn nice trade out here. You got that big hammer candle right back here on June 25th. That's a pretty major low, folks. In fact, if that 1935 ever gets taken out, which maybe it will, look out below because that is a hammer of hammer candles. Thanks so much, Z. The CAF, that's what we want to be paying attention to. 877-927-6648. We'll be right back, folks. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. 
White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Recently, Basil Chapman has had some outstanding trades in his newsletter, The Opening Call. Each morning by 9 a.m., Basil uploads his newsletter to the TFNN servers so that his subscribers can access his expert trading advice. Basil gives his take on the direction of key indices and updates any active trades that his subscribers are currently in. Just recently, Basil's subscribers closed out a short position in Chipotle Mexican Grill, CMG, for more than an $86 profit per share, over a 20% gain in just one position. If you'd like to try out Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, then visit the front page of TFNN.com and click Trading Newsletters. There you'll find Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, where you can request a free sample copy. Also, don't miss Basil's program. The Tiger Technician's Hour, Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern, on TFNN. On Wednesday, August 14th and Thursday, August 15th, Tom O'Brien advised his Gold Report subscribers to close out six of their nine open positions, all winning trades ranging from a 10.6% profit to an incredible 48% profit in just one equity. And all six of those winning trades had been initiated no earlier than just the previous month. With the 600th weekly gold report issue fast approaching, Tom O'Brien brings an incredible wealth of knowledge and experience to the gold market and the equities within the industry. That's almost 12 years since this powerful newsletter first began, and right now you can get a 30-day free trial to the gold report by visiting TFNN.com. Make sure you're a subscriber as this volatile gold market provides trading opportunities after declining all the way from $1,900 to under $1,200 an ounce in only two years. Get your 30-day free trial to the Gold Report today by visiting TFNN.com. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, sponsored by Nadex, up next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, right now, we've got the uh, Dow is down 10 points. S&P is uh, flat, uh, 67 uh, cents out here. Expected to be, uh, well, you know, I expect we'll close down a, a bit uh, this uh, today. But uh, we've got options expiration out here. So uh, I don't know if uh, it's a uh, it's going to be the best of trading days. In any event, the uh, composite's up five points. Russell 2000 is uh, flat. Had a request in our Tiger's Den. And, folks, if you haven't had a chance to uh, check out the Tiger's Den, you really should do yourself a favor and do it. Number one, if you're uh, learning technical trading, you can see all of our charts here. So all the contributors' charts are in HD, which is a little bit better technology than uh, Tiger TV. Uh, so if you haven't uh, done and then you've got the peer group. You know, the, the thing that uh, I, I, I wish that uh, I had learned this earlier in life, although, you know, I'm not really complaining, but one of the key things that uh, you want to do when you're trying to take yourself to the next level, well, just take a look at it like this. For those of you that play tennis, you know, and I used to play tennis, or I could just use it to uh, playing golf, and I know that I always learned more, played better, was able to up my game when I played with players that were better than I was. And I know that it works that way in tennis. I know that it works that way in life out there. And so when you're trying to take yourself up to that next level, you know, that's that phrase that we all use out there. When you are trying to raise your standards, the way to raise your standards is by getting with a peer group, a peer group that has more 
that has more information, more knowledge, more uh, more everything available to you. That is the only way. When you're taking, like, it's the same thing that you basically say to your kids, right? You know, as your kids were growing up, weren't you concerned about who it was that they were hanging around with? Because if they hung around with the wrong peer group, what would happen? much more likely to get in uh, trouble out there. So as a parent, you were probably, if you were like me or what have you, you were always interested in who their pair group was and who they were hanging around with. Well, guess what? Oftentimes, we give that advice and we don't even take it ourselves. It's so important to make sure that you surround yourself with a great peer group. And the Tiger's Den is one of those places. Take advantage of all of the education that uh, all the contributors offer, whether it's done through the uh, shows out there or if you're ready to make an investment in yourself and feed your mind, because we feed our bodies, you've got to feed your mind out there, then consider the courses that we take. Even though I've got a course that's called the Master Trader course, the word master, you know, I do want to teach you how to master. I don't really want to teach. I don't, I'm don't. i not interested in teaching how to dabble in life or in trading. I want to teach you how to master elements of trading out there that will help you to be able to make money. But don't let that scare you. In fact, let that attract you because that is what you want to do. You want to attract yourself to something that uh, somebody else knows that is working for them that's not working for you and you want to up your game. Now, I had a request inside the Tiger's Den to take a look at the EEM. It's an ETF out here for the emerging uh, markets. Actually, one of the indicators up on my screen is a, a system uh, put together by Thomas DeMarc. Some of you may know it. And it looks like it hit a uh, one of his number 13 indicators out there. Uh, that was as the high was being uh, formed here on uh, September the uh, 18th, or it looks like maybe it was actually the uh, September 19th candle uh, where that hit. As we take a look at it, let's go see what patterns it has completed. Let's take a look at the A to B equals CD up, your swing point that you start with down on June 24th. That's your A point, 36.16. Your B point is the uh, swing point that took place on July 23rd out at 40.24. Makes a retracement. Looks like a 0.68 or 0.786. And this thing here has uh, made, first it made the one-to-one. A to B equals CD. No bears showed up there. Went on to the next level. Well, it sliced through that level, which was 1.272. This really says to me it wants to make a 100% move of a move and get all the way back to that uh, other 13 Thomas DeMarc uh, uh, notation that came in back in uh, May. May uh, 7th was when that one actually hit may 8th was when the high came in so it looks to me because of that wide ranging bar that what the eem wants to do is get up into that 4378 that'll be your one to 1.618 level folks have a, a great friday i will look so forward to seeing you come monday morning have a great weekend and i uh, will see you then take care Questions are the answer. You want a better life? Ask a better question. My driving force in life is how can I become the intelligence behind financial freedom? It's why I take massive action. It's why I've invested over 10,000 hours and thousands of dollars to create the answer, the ultimate money machine. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, and on Friday, September 27th, I'll be hosting a one-day online master trader course, The Ultimate Money Machine, where I'll teach you the exact same trading strategies that I use every day when trading the markets and advising my newsletter subscribers. Learn how to precisely identify identify the market's next move, when to pull the trigger by letting the market commit to you before you commit to it, and how to manage your trade to maximize your results, just as we did in the month of August, when I advised my newsletter subscribers of 11 new trades, resulting in one loss and a combined profit of 129%. Our next move, it's days away. The cost of this course, $595, less than $2.50 per trading session over the next year. If you're looking for the answer, it's the ultimate money machine. All the details on the front page of TFNN.com.